Hello and welcome to Explore Analytics. I'm going to show you how you can use Explore Analytics to get more powerful user utilization reports for ServiceNow. If you're a ServiceNow system administrator, I'm sure you've been asked to provide information on who's using your ServiceNow environment, what they're using it for, and, and information like that. And I'm going to show you how Explore Analytics is a powerful tool that you can use to answer those questions. Within Explore Analytics, I'm going to start by creating a report on the group membership table because we're going to start with figuring out what users have roles and we're going to create a pivot so that we can uh, consolidate that by user. Our first step is to identify each of the users that have some roles attached to them. So I'm going to drag the user into the row labels so that I get this consolidated list of users with roles and I'm going to remove the count because it doesn't matter to us right now how many roles that they have. And then I can also add any other information about the user that I want. So for example, if I want to know um, the user's department or the user's country by dot walking to the location country. And I can add as much of this information as I want. But for right now, we'll show you the users, the user's department, uh, and the user's country. So what this allows me to do is have the list of the users in ServiceNow that have some sort of a role attached, which means that they're considered ITIL users, uh, and their de attached department, country, anything that I might need from a reporting purpose. Now that I have this list, we're going to use an Explore Analytics capability called a composite view. What the composite view does is it turns this list that we've generated into a table as if it was a table in service now that I can run reports against. So we'll call this uh, ITIL users to show that this is the list of users that have roles. So now rather than having the list I can go back to aggregating this and say okay show me those rolled users let's say by department. So now I can say by department, how many users with roles do we have? So with just a couple clicks, I've now taken that list of users with roles and I've turned it back into an aggregation to say these are all the customer support users that have roles attached to them. You may want to be able to combine this with other information. So for example, if I'm looking at this uh, by country, I'm going to create a new mashup view. What the mashup view does is it allows me to combine uh, multiple reports that I've already created. So there's one that's the ITIL users and then we also want all users by country. That's another pivot that I've already created and we'll call this uh, my user utilization by country. So you see here that I have a pivot that's showing me the number of ITIL users uh, and the number of total users grouped by country. So now it's very easy for me to see how many users we have total, how many of those are users with roles. And then with the mashup, I can also do this kind of calculation where I say, okay, all users minus those users with roles is the number of self-service users we have and I can drag to put that where I want. So now I have one column which is the number of users with roles, another column which is the self-service users, and the total that it gives us which is all users. So you see with just a couple clicks, and I can have this by country, I could have this by department, it's very easy for me to take that look and, and slice and dice uh, the number of users I have. Now this is showing us uh, all of this in a pivot. I could also have this kind of information uh, in, a, um, in a geographical mapping. So if I go back to this ITIL users, what I could do is turn that into a chart and change that chart to be a geographical mapping. And we want that to be uh, colored in areas by country, where the country is the user location country. And again, that could also use that com in combination. So now it's very easy for me to see, well, most of our licensed users are right now in the United States. And I could see how that changes over time. So 
So you have these different either graphical ways or pivot ways of being able to analyze this. But let's suppose I wanted to see how that changes over time. If I go back to the um, user utilization by country pivot, if I want to track how this util user utilization changes over time, all I have to do is say file, track trend. That'll create a table within Explore Analytics that will run on a schedule. So let's say once a month uh, at the first of the month at midnight, we're going to run that report and we're going to save the results of that into a table uh, in Explore Analytics. Now, after that runs a few times, you can then run any kind of visualization you want against it. So this is an example that I've been running for a few months already that's grouped by the date, uh, which is when that job ran. And it's also grouped by, uh, I could have it grouped by country. So I'm actually using this drop down for country. So I could say, show this to me by USA, show it to me for Italy. Uh, you know, you can see that Italy is entirely self-service users and is growing quickly. Uh, or I could, you know, have it overall. And you can see here I have rolled users and self-service users stacked in bars. This is all completely interactive, so the users could say, actually, I'd prefer to see that as lines, uh, merged lines. I'd actually like to see the forecast, and I can have that projected and use a seasonal trend for 12 months so that I can see that, well, based on this, eventually uh, we'll be... You know, if nothing else changes in the somewhere in the 1,000 to 1,400 self-service user range. Obviously, that might not continue to be true, but based on current trends, that might be true. Now that I have this report, if I want to show this in service now, all I have to do is go to, say, File, Publish, and I want a live view that's published to the ServiceNow dashboard. And as I publish that, I have this URL. I have an embed code, but you'll see it already created a ServiceNow content block. So if I go to my home page, my out of the box ServiceNow home page, I can say add me and explore analytics gauge and find the user utilization trend. And now I have this interactive report that's coming from that trend job, or it can come from a real time report, uh, and into, it's embedded here uh, in ServiceNow. Now, one last thing that we can do, just to show an example of being able to really easily slice and dice those, uh, those, um, those reports, is if I go back to my uh, ITIL users, and we're going to turn this back into a pivot. We also have the ability to group by the last login time. So if I drag that last login time to the columns, you'll see that by that last login time, I could break it down by year, by year and month, by hour of day. But what I want right now is to group into bins and convert that date into age. What that allows me to do is say, OK, show me the users that uh, lost logged in in the last 30 days as one column, and then 30 to 60 days and then 60 plus days, so less than 30, 30 to 60, 60 plus. Once I do this grouping, what this will give me in real time is the ability to see this is the number of ITIL licensed users that haven't logged into ServiceNow in the last 60 days. So you can see that 99 of them have logged in. And I can also see which ones have never logged in. The last login time has never been populated. Obviously, my uh, demo environment is not a, a real IT department, so not a lot of people have been logging in. But you can use this to be able to see not only what licenses you're consuming, but which licenses you can reclaim because they're not being used. And obviously, this is all real time. So if I say, uh, you know, for this one Australia 60 plus day, I can drill through to details on this cell and it'll show me the actual user that's here. So again, I'm going to publish this to ServiceNow. And I'm going to add this alongside the report that I had before. So now on this homepage, I have this user utilization trend where I can look 
uh, and see how those users are being utilized. And I can see this up to the minute report that shows me how recently that's been uh, used. This is just a quick look at uh, how you can quickly put together some user utilization reporting. Obviously, there's a lot more depth and richness to it, but you can really get any kind of slicing and dicing you want against ServiceNow's users table. So if you'd like to try this out, we have a free 30-day trial at exploreanalytics.com slash registration. Give it a shot and see what you can explore.